It is 40 years since St. John Paul II first visited Poland between June the 2nd to the 10th in 1979. It was an historic moment as a country was ruled by the oppressive regime of the Soviet Union. The Polish ambassador to the Holy See remembers fondly Pope John Paul II's visit to Poland. He recalls the hope this Pope brought to the many people who despairingly believed the Soviet Union would last forever. Right in the middle of Warsaw, it was about a million of Poles, and we were listening with tears in our eyes to the words of Polish Pope. He treated us seriously. He was saying that you must do that and that. You mustn't be afraid. You are Catholics, you are Poles, you are young people. The future belongs to you. He notes how the Pope's visit helped bring about peaceful change and ultimately the collapse of communism. This is because soon after his visit, millions of Polish people formed the Solidarity Trade Union. The Communist Party was always saying to us, yes, we are for you. We are for the workers, for the poor people. And now those people, they said no. It was a, a kind of a revolution. It was absolutely peaceful, absolutely peaceful. People were praying with the rosaries and on the gate of the Gdańsk shipyard, there was a great portrait of John Paul II. One of the reasons John Paul II wanted to visit Poland was to mark the millennium of the baptism of Poland. In 1966, the communists had not permitted Pope Paul VI to visit to celebrate this important occasion for Catholicism in Poland. According to the Polish ambassador, the Soviet government warned John Paul II not to visit and afterwards sought ways to destroy solidarity among the Polish people. The first secretary of the Soviet Communist Party, Leonid Brezhnev, said before the visit of John Paul II to Poland, he said it to Gierek, yeah, to Polish first secretary of the Communist Party. Oh, we know that Wojtyla is such a wise man. Tell him he must announce that he is sick. It will be better for him not to come to Poland. They tried during the martial law. Jaruzelski was, was trying to destroy our solidarność, our liberty, but he didn't make it. It was, it was really impossible. He says it is important people do not forget John Paul II, who strongly stood against the violation of human rights and life.